Welcome back to the channel, little flexors. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. My name is JW Crewall, aka Flex Daddy, and this is the best place to be to learn about the Pokemon TCG and have some fun along the way. Today's deck features Chestnut V, which is an absolutely absurd card. If you've never read it, thank you to C Jeff. This is a fan favorite Friday creation, by the way. So if you want to get your ideas down in the comment section below, I play a deck as chosen by you, the fans. So get down there and either leave a deck idea or a deck list or like somebody else's comment. Chestnut V, pretty crazy, has the ability Needle Line, and that's kind of where all the excitement happens. If your active Chestnut V is damaged by an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, put three damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. So that may not read so crazy at first, but then you realize that the Chestnut Vs stack on each other. And if one Chestnut V gets attacked, it'll do 30 damage for each Chestnut V in play. You could do 120 damage if your Chestnut V gets attacked. Very fun card. You're going to see how it plays in action here in these next couple of games where people just swing right into the Chestnut V and get pretty punished for it. We also have the attack touchdown. Go Lions. Heal 30 damage from this Pokemon. So a little bit of synergy there where you can maybe keep your Chestnut V alive for a little bit longer. We also have, and speaking of keeping your Chestnut V alive a little longer, we have the absurd Cricketune with the swelling tune. Give your Chestnuts plus 40 HP, so keep track here. They start with 230, and then you add Cricketune, so go up to 270. Then you have a Big Charm, which I always call it Big Charm. It's a Bravery Charm, plus 50 HP, so that's 320. And then you can also put a V-Guard Energy down, and that's going to reduce by 30 your opponent's attacks from their Pokemon V. So a lot of these defensive cards make sure that your chestnuts last as long as possible. We also play a switch card in here. You know, you can heal 30. That's kind of a fun one as well. And we also play a Radiant Serena. So these things are tanky. We want them to take as much damage, take as many attacks as possible to, you know, do that retaliation damage. We power everything up with the Arceus V-Star. That is kind of the core of the deck. And then we play a bunch of ball cards and supporters to support that. So that is the list, you guys. I hope you enjoy this Fan Favorite Friday concoction with the Chestnut V. Let's get into it. It's giving almost really good vibes. I really need an energy here off the top deck. <laughs> like, <laughs> desperately, please. Please. I think I'm good beyond that. I mean, everything is everything is flowing here. We got the Chestnut, got the Cricketot, got the V-Star. So we'll be able to get something cooking next turn, but I just need the energy attachment this turn. We got 14 in the deck. Decent chance we can top deck one. Frankly, I was hoping my opponent would mulligan. Come on. Give me a chance here. Playing silly deck on... On the video. I feel like there should be a silly deck mode, you know? Like, there's the casual ladder, but there should be another... There should be another option for players. Just, just It's just silly deck. Yeah, yeah. Can we all send in a support ticket for that one? Yeah, thanks. Oh, joy. Okay. Energy. Boom. Frick. Free. Alrighty. Could be worse. Certainly. Could be worse. We're just giving up a turn. My opponent might not even be here. So that's pretty cool. Could just pass. Pass turn. Back over to me. See what they opt for here. There's a Tim Pole. They're alive. They're alive and well. There is a Jacques. Uh-oh. Is this some kind of like mill deck? I'm only thinking of the Gyarados from Go that flips coins. Okay, uh, oh, I, if I could have read those cards, I might have known what my opponent was trying to do. I just... I, I just... The game... <laughs> It's like they tried to make the worst player experience possible. Oh, it's so annoying. Oh well. Nevertheless, he persisted. In spite of all, what's that? Like, we, we smile through the pain. You know? You know? 
So we're going to have to evolve this Arceus, assuming we don't top deck a double turbo. And then we will go for, um, yeah, research and an energy. I wish I knew what the Gyarados does. But I guess we'll find out. Oh, there is a research to whomst do I owe the pleasure. Go here. It's actually really sick because it allows us to save our V-Star. We find this. I kind of don't want another Crick. So I'll just go V-Guard Energy. I know that that doesn't really do anything, obviously. Um, and then I'm just going to chill with this hand. I don't feel like I need to overextend, especially when I don't know what the Gyarados does. Um, and if this Arceus goes down, we're screwed anyway. So... Sorry, I had another coaching request there. Had to take care of that. Always got to take care of my clients. Okay, Ultra Ball for... We'll go the Crick. One Crick. And then let's Iono. See what we can get. We're probably going to have to use the Starbirth unless we get insanely lucky. Yeah, we're going to have to use the Starbirth. Okay, so what do we want to grab? Also, what the heck does this thing does? What the heck does this thing does? Anyone know? What the heck? <laughs> um, let's take another supporter. And we'll take a double turbo. And then we will go for here. Let's go for a chest naughty. Got three up. That's pretty good. And then Trinity Nova takes a knockout. Huge. And we'll put some energy down onto... The big boy, the fella. I'll take our price. Lovely. Now I'm kind of worried what the quack quavel does. I feel like I should know. I have, I pulled like 10 of them. So. The Candace. There's a joke in there somewhere. Holy. <laughs> All right. We got to get this chestnut up and uh, up and running, man. Call this chestnut Justin Fields with how many touchdowns he has. Three of them. Does uh does Justin Fields have three touchdowns this season? Let's see. Justin Fields touchdown. Sorry, Bears fans. This season. My mistake. Justin Fields has uh, accounted for two touchdowns. Two touch. That's that's averaging a touchdown a game. So. You know, could be worse. Could be worse. All right, the good play is to attack with Arceus. The fun play is to attack with the Chestnut. So we'll go here. I'll save the research. I'm going to get some of these other fellas powered up. And let's go touchdown. Halfway to Justin Fields' total for the, <laughs> total for the season. Let's see. Which QBs... Didn't um, Jordan Love have like four touchdowns in the first game? Have the, have, let's see, three. Oh, we, we have four touchdowns now. We have the other chestnut. Four touchdowns this season. Let's see. I feel like, okay, and this is, this is me. Let's see. I feel like Zach Wilson uh, has more touchdowns. This season. Okay, I stand corrected. There might be only one player worse than Justin Fields, and that is uh, Zach Wilson with two touchdowns and four interceptions. Justin Fields only had three interceptions. 
So, how about that? Let's see. Jordan Love has six. Kirk, my boy Kirk Cousins. We went to school together. Uh, okay, Jared Goff. There we go. Perfect. Top tier quarterback, I'd say. Top five quarterback in the league. Absolute goat. We've just kept drawing into too many energy. I don't think I can... I don't think I can discard that many energy. So let's go touchdown again. Now we've equaled Justin Fields and Zach Wilson's totals. And Joe Burrow's total. Holy crap. There are so many touch there are so many players here that have like two touchdowns this season. Holy moly. Dang. That is crazy. What are they doing? What are the quarterbacks doing? You'd think that they would want to be scoring touchdowns more. Many people are asking this. All right. Size of Toad. As long as this Pokemon is active, fine. Oh, frick. That's kind of cool. I don't know why you wouldn't promote this, though. I guess you have free retreat, so why not? It's got a big chin pow. Something about this synergy is just not working. I feel like this wants to be a Bax Caliber. They could run us over, actually, because we're never going to one-shot this. Unless, well, I guess they're going to hit into a chestnut and they do 120 damage to themselves. That could be the, that could be the strat. All right. Let's see, we use we haven't used any switch cards yet, so I think I'm cool to just oh, but I don't want to get rid of the energy is the thing. I'm like, I'm cool to research here, but I, I really don't think we can. Like the energy is just at such a premium. That I don't want to get rid of any. Okay. Frick! Okay, maybe I will now. Maybe. <laughs> okay, hit me. I dare you. Hit me. Hit me. I want you to hit me. So you do 120. I mean, you just need a Max Caliber out, buddy. Yeah, I'm just not thinking that's gonna, not thinking that's gonna happen. But it'd be kind of sick if you hit into us with the Chin Pow, because then you're gonna take 120 damage. That's kind of cool. Let's see it. Let's see it. Echoed voice. Needle line. 30. 30. Ooh. 30! Hit him again! Hit him again! Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's what I like. Ooh, we got a boss. Okay, so we don't even have to commit this energy at this point. We can go boss. I mean, the best target would be boss on the fridgy bags, right? Alternatively, we could just boss this thing up, and if they take a knockout then we also take a knockout, which would be really funny. I think that'd be the most funny thing. So we hope that that's how this game is going to end. Where they just knock themselves out trying to kill us. That'd be hilarious. And they can't even do it with this amount of energy. Okay, there we go. I'm going to silvery chill. Oh, what am I talking about? Yeah, they could do it with four, right? They'd discard everything. But then they'd kill themselves. We'll see if they we'll see if they recognize it. They're gonna swing. They're gonna swing. <laughs> oh my gosh. They swung. We <laughs> Oh my gosh. Stop. He's already dead. He's already dead. Don't do it. Don't. <laughs> That's so funny. Hey, going out on your own terms. I love it. I love it. <laughs> That's so absurd, man. What a game. 
Ooh, okay. Please, Arceus. Please, okay. Um, this feels fine. Town Store, they... <sighs> Town Store is tough because they get a lot of benefit from it. That I almost feel like I don't want to give that to them at this point. I'll play... No, we don't really want the Serena for this matchup. I think it's just going to be the Chestnut. Obviously... A better card to start there would have been the Arceus, but um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we get off of this one. I expect that this could actually be a sneaky good matchup for us if this is pure Gardevoir. Um, naturally, it's not pure Gardevoir, so yeah, just kidding. Uh, okay, lovely, lovely, yes. Cutest Ralts of all time. Okay, we're going to just manually power up this chestnut, I guess. Let's uh, reshuffle the deck. Stack a supporter onto the top. We just really don't want another Krikatoon. I think that would be unwise. So, fail that. And we'll pass her. Anybody else going to weddings this, uh, this summer? I guess we're almost at the end of summer. I, maybe today is the last day of summer. It's coming out on Friday. I think Friday is the last day of summer. Anybody else going to weddings? I got one for a, uh, a college friend coming up this weekend. So we're heading to Chicago, the city of angels, city of brotherly love. Top deck to energy three turns in a row. That's absurd. Oh, I got bodied by that. I guess we heal, right? We heal 30, so it doesn't really matter. Um, do I... I mean, maybe I play the town store now? I don't know. I'm really... This is... this is. I'm kind of thrown for a loop here. Let's play the town store. Let's make our chestnut as, uh, as big as possible. But it's an Indian wedding this weekend. An Indian wedding. So basically what that means is it's a giant party for everyone that uh, is not getting married, essentially. I went to an Indian wedding last year, one of my good friends, Pokemon player, and it was, cr I had never been to an Indian wedding before, but it was crazy because first of all, they have all the aunties and uncles and literally everyone that's like semi-related comes to this and they pass, let's go. What is this? They, they scoop. Ooh, what a hand. I like this. I mean, it at least means that, okay, at least means that we get the Arceus V star here. This is kind of fun. And we get, okay, okay. I like what I see. Are we going first now? Opponent's turn. All right. Sad. A little frustrating. A little disappointing. Oh, no. Not the battle VIP pass. <laughs> Frick! Frick! Buddy, save some room for your Ralts. Okay. 
let's see them with the second battle VIP off of this Mew. That'd be so glorious. One time, one time. They have three in their deck, frick. Okay. Sometimes you just get unlucky, frankly. And uh, this is one of them. Anybody going to any weddings this year? We got a couple of weddings coming up. One of the wed I think I have like three. I know three weddings before the end of the year, which seems crazy because we only have, what, three months left of the year? Which that's crazy for a whole nother reason. But, um, let's see. Do I get a second arc down? Do I worry about the other arc? I mean, if they knock us out, they didn't get any energy. They got one energy in the discard pile. There's no way, dude. There's no way. I'm going to save it because we don't really like to have Arceus down, right? Um, but we're going to, yeah, three weddings before the end of the year, maybe four. There is an Indian wedding that we're going to this weekend in Chicago. The city of angels, the big apple. City of brotherly love, as they call it. Many people are calling it these days. And we, yeah, basically an Indian wedding. I've never been, this is my second Indian wedding. The first Indian wedding was wild because I had no idea what to expect. But it's basically like a, it's it's a big party for everyone that's not the bride and the groom. And I and when I say party, I mean like it literally is just a party and a wedding is also happening. There were these uh, traditional musicians playing like pretty loud music the entire time. People were just talking. It's like all the aunties and uncles from India that come over and, you know, a bunch of friends and stuff. Like it's a huge thing in terms of the number of people, the size of the wedding. And then everyone is just like talking over the procession and there's really not a lot of order. People don't stay in their seats. They like throw things at different times of the ceremony. Like it's really kind of crazy. And there's about 10 different little stations that the bride and groom go to. They like wash their feet and they do like a, I don't know, like a rice ceremony or something. And like all these little Indian traditions. And then the craziest part is again, like there's no order in the courtroom for this. And people are like taking selfies with the bride and the groom as they're like holding hands and like, you know, doing this, tr this ritual or tradition or whatever. It's wild, dude. Um, all right. Iono seems good. I'm a little hesitant to drop the tot, but I think we do it. I'm pretty sure we do it. Right. Uh, I just, I think I need the, I need the attack too bad. I think I like, I'd rather have the extra card than the Iono. Yeah. I think I, I need, like, we need to get the Arceus here. Yes. Okay. Um, sadly we drew into all of our grass energy. So we'll star birth. So at this point, I think Iono is fine, but it'll be DTE and wow. Only one. Holy moly. DTE and Iono, because we got to get those energies back in the deck, right? So we'll do that. And then come here. And then I'll Trinity Nova. We'll power up the uh, the chest naughty with the big charm on it, or bravery charm. And then the other thing that's crazy about an Indian wedding is it lasts all day. So you get there at 7 30 8 and they may feed you some breakfast and then you go to the wedding again lasts all day and then you oh shoot they got a freaking zashin man maybe i should have put the v guard on the other maybe i should have put one energy here and then we have the v guard yeah i think that's probably what i should have done Oh, well, if they don't get a knockout here, then I think we're chilling. Being chilling, in fact. Um, they do have a lot of cards in hand. <laughs> I just hope they don't get the Sky... Actually, the thing that I'm most worried about is the Sky Seal Stone. Straight up. So there's Rare Candy. 
that they're discarding. Uh oh, that's not a good sign. Nail concealed cards. There's like totally enough energy if they have a uh, if they have a reversal, then they have enough energy. So we'll see. There's a forest. I mean, they have to have it, right? Like they saw way too many cards to not have it here. They're gonna retreat. They're gonna go into the Zashin. Okay, I'm really confused. Surely, okay, there we go, there we go. I'm like, surely they have it, right? But do they have the knockout is the question. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's 240, so they need two more energy? Unless I'm... Unless I'm crazy here, they don't have a knockout with the Zashin. Which is good, because that gives us an opportunity to power up another Chestnut on the next turn. Like, I am very for that, um, if it gives us another opportunity to power up a, a second Chestnut. So we'll see what they have here. Nar, the Iarnar. Not great. Then again, we were going to do that to them, so... <laughs> you know, hard, hard to fault them for doing what we were going to do to them. And then there's the Guardi. They're going to Shining Arcana. Don't hit. Okay, wait. Did they get it? They discarded two level ball. Holy, I think we might have it. I think we might have a shot here. And by a shot, I just mean that they don't knock out this Arceus. That's the biggest thing. Right? On their turn three, if they can one-shot a V-Star, that is incredibly good. So we'll see what they opt to go for here. If they even power it up close to getting a one-shot, then we could take a knockout with Arceus. And they've already put enough damage on it that Arceus is KOing. So we have a great hand beyond this. There's six. Again, unless I'm missing something or they have an energy in hand. Yeah, they're doing 210. Let's see. Huh. I don't quite understand, but that's fine. Um, we have Chestnut. We have... We could Radiant Serena. I think the fourth Chestnut is just better. Let's go there, there. Let's put this down here. We do have Ultra Ball. I kind of want to save Boss. Or like maybe I maybe I boss the Curlia. But does that leave us open to like a, a Cresselia play or something? It's probably just best to take the knockout on the active, right? Because I don't I don't care about this. This is probably scarier. Maybe I do care about getting out the... I, actually, I do think I care about getting out this because they could go uh, Cresselia and take a knockout. Okay. A little bit weird. A little bit awkward. We're committing to the bit. We're going after the active. It's Trinity Nova. And I feel... Good about accelerating energy. Let's go two here and one here. And we're preparing for the eventual Iono, right? But now we have four chestnuts. We got the army lined up. This is lovely. Another energy attachment. Frankly, you love to see it. And now we'll see what they do. This is a really intimidating board state for my opponent i think they didn't get the turn two knockout they're gonna swing with gardevoir but if they swing with gardevoir we can take a knockout with chestnut and they're discarding reversal i'm yeah i'm not really sure what's happening here because they're gonna need that reversal to go through the chestnuts so there's an attachment of the, maybe they'll just attack with this gardevoir with the reversal attached and then we won't be able to knock out with the chestnut. So that's where maybe the boss would have been good to hold. But I was kind of worried about the Iono at this point. So. There is a worker. 
which means no Iono. So in retrospect, it was better to keep the boss, but that's okay. And then they will, drum roll please, they can just attack without doing anything else here with that Gardevoir. We won't be able to take a response knockout, but um, that Gardevoir will be essentially useless for them because we'll do 130. No, they attached. No, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh no, we can only do 130, so that wouldn't be a knockout, but oh, that's not good. That's not good. Maybe they want that Gardevoir to get knocked out? Something screwy is happening over here, man. I, I'm just not sure if they if they recognize their decision here. So there's the seal stone. That would be good to use. Okay, this is a way that they can come back, actually. Using the seal stone on this knockout is pretty good. Because it means that they can go Arceus, Cricketoon, and then a Chestnut. And that's better for them because this Cricketoon has 90 HP, so that'd be a quick Cresselia snipe. If we don't find a boss here off this research, then things could get a little bit spicy for us. Because we do want to just knock out this Sashin if we can. I mean, start, it's starting to seem like they're loading it up. So we'll see where we can go with this. They are going to... Attach a few more psychics. I'm not, not sure. Not exactly sure where they're going here with this line of play. They like definitely shouldn't have attached to the Gardevoir, but that's in the past at this point. I think if I were them, I would have just attached the reversal. I probably wouldn't have gotten rid of the other reversal. I would have attached that first reversal. I would have um, maybe set myself up for a Cresselia play and they just scoop. Yeah, I I don't know how they were gonna win that one. And while we didn't attack with the chestnuts, I mean that's that's like a perfect board state for us in that end game. So I think I got one more in me here with this deck, because I, I do still want to show off the chestnut. I, I think it's a really fun card. And especially against a matchup like Gardevoir, you can put on a lot of pressure. See did I see a double turbo and uh, an electric generator. All right. Well, we're in for a bumpy ride, fellas. Let's see what we got here. There's a switch car. All right. We might just end up playing that early. I'm not sure. I don't know what's going on at this point. We got the bravery charm. We have the chest naughty. And we got the energy attachment. And we'll just end the turn. It's like really not looking viable for us to get an Arceus down, which is crazy because we play... Three Arceus V, three Arceus V Star. We play, um, we play a full suite of Ultra Balls and Nest Balls. So you'd think that of those eleven cards, we would open one, you know, more often than zero times. I don't know what you do, quite frankly, and I'm a little worried. Okay, we do get the Arceus V. All right. So at this point, it is best, I think, for us to Adventures of Discovery. We can get a couple of Chestnauties and then the Arceus V-Star that we want. And then we're just taking it slow. We went first, so we have the benefit of time on our side. Go ahead and pass. Obviously, Arceus V-Star is going to be able to power up a couple of Chestnauts. We should be off to the races. So there is an energy attachment to the Raikou. I just, I'm worried that this is like, is the other Altaria that's like a, it's like a damage reducer, is that, or can't be affected by, I don't know, Pokemon V or whatever, is that still in format? I'm a little nervous. So we'll do that. We will miss. I'm recognizing now that I, um, I think I forgot to play the Cricketoon. Yeah. <laughs> That's my bad. It's hot in my office, okay? Give me a break. <laughs> Should I just grab it now? <laughs> um, yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> it's fine. That's <laughs> That's so stupid. 
<laughs> we'll just grab it now, though. Who cares, man? Who cares? Let's get another chestnut. This is we, we've assembled Exodia at this point, and then we'll go ahead and Trinity Nova. I don't want to give them the town store in case they play a in case they play um, like a forest or something. But we'll at least go here. That's so funny. I'm really I'm losing it, fellas. I'm losing it. I take our prize. And then I want to just be going in with the chestnut straight up. Like I might just, I might just retreat into the chestnut and start swanging. Start swanging. There's an ultra ball. I think we will see the Altaria or the, I mean, we could see the Blissey, I suppose. Um, Altaria would be tough. Okay. We do see that was the third option. I was going to say is Regilecki. I just, I don't think it's in format. I'm trying to remember. There's a dragon Altaria that I know of. But I'm missing. I'm missing like what the other one could be. So there's 180. Okay. So what I want to do. Let's go town store. Let's get a bravery charm. We're going to put so much pressure on our opponent here if we just retreat into a chestnut and take a knockout. Or not take a knockout, but do 130. Because if they swing into us, then they get bodied. So I think we do this. And then we'll go ahead and swing for 130. If they swing into us, they're like, first of all, not taking a knockout. We heal 30 damage and they're killing themselves. So it seems like a very bad trade. If someone offered me this trade, I don't think I would take it. Oh frick. Okay. Yeah, this is our this is our nemesis for sure. Okay. Okay. Here's this one. All damage from one of the bench to opponents active. That sucks. Okay, we do have three boss. So we're going to have to be very judicial with them. They're going to boss the Arceus. That's fine. Oh, frick. We're going to have to attack with the Crick, I think. <laughs> oh, okay. We could... Take the lucky. I mean, this just bodies us, dude. What do we do, man? <sighs> okay. Fine. Fine. You know what? You want to play this way? You want to play? You want to play dirty like this? Fine. We can play dirty. You can play this game. We will. What does this do? Aroma shot. All right. You got it, bud. Um. Play nest ball just to get rid of it. And then play this down just to get rid of it, sure. And then we'll touch down. I don't know. I don't love our chances. I'm going to be completely honest. I thought we had the god set up, but it's like one card bodies us, right? And it's that mill tank. And then they healed all the damage off the Raikou. Now that's looking a little bit more scary. So we can only do 100, but is this like damage by abilities as well? I don't know what the f the face guard. From attacks. Okay, 20 damage from attacks. Okay, so we'll do 110 to the Raikou. If they do smack into the Chestnut, then they will take 120 damage. That is what I'm obviously hoping that they do. And if they do that, then our route to victory becomes a lot simpler. Maybe not easier, depending on what our hands look like, but but certainly simpler at that. So we'll see. They are going to grab... A Regilecki. Very good. Get the VMAX going. Okay, I see you. Draw a card. 
Never a bad thing. And I'm waiting with bated breath to see if they attack into our chestnut. God, that mill tank is so annoying. Don't do it, man. Let's go. Let's go. All right. 30 right back at you. 60 right back at you. 90 right back at you. 110, or excuse me, 120 right back at you. Yeah, buddy. Get mad. Stay mad. Uh, we'll do this. We'll do this. Nothing left, huh? And then we will attach. And we'll do 110. We'll take, we'll go down to two prize. Okay, so now I feel very confident that we can gust around this mill tank. I forgot to Radiant Serena. Dude, please. My brain's just not in it. I don't think it matters anyway, but my brain's just not in it. We need to figure out a way. Do you know the way? Curious to see what they... Yeah, they're going to switch in the mill tank. This is fine. I will... I think what we want to do is try to have multiple boss in hand. And this is fine because we can heal up with the chestnut. So I'm going to just like wait until we can get a few boss or escape ropes or something. Um, and then let's elegant heal. I'll hold the energy in hand because we, I mean, frankly, we would like to use the Radiant Serena. Um, and then we'll heal here with touchdown. And then it just kind of becomes a game of chicken. There's the draw. There's a recycler. There's a Clara. Okay. Take back like what? I, I'm worried that it might turn into a like a resource game. This mill tank is so annoying. I, I'm very confident that we can win if they don't have the milker. And that's annoying. I, yeah, I think like if we just knock out two Raikou, then we're in a great spot. Um, we could also switch into the active. Switch into the Radiant Serena, take a knockout, see what they do. I guess if we switch into Radiant Serena and swing, then they knock it out with this, and then we get like one hit, and then we boss it twice. But I don't know what kind of healing they have. Like That's the hardest thing. We need to basically get like three bosses on a Regilecki, probably. Which is so silly. So there's that. I don't know what this thing does. Heal all damage! Well, it's now or never, I think. We have boss. I mean, if they... I don't know. How much should we worry about Blissey, dude? Like... Because we have, we have game in hand, right? If we can boss this thing up twice, then we win. Okay? So I think we should do it. Because they would need switch... Plus an energy. And if they leave Blissey up, they're probably not retreating that dude. Okay, I'm going to do it. We're going to swing here. We're going to go touchdown. I've made my decision. This is my final answer. 
We'll see if they... You, you always try to put the ball in your opponent's court. We are putting a lot of pressure on them. We have game in hand. We have game in hand. They attach to the mill tank. Okay, so they need like a switch card plus a hand disruption. And we could always draw into the other boss is the crazy thing about this. So see what they go for. They draw. They boss the Radiant Serena. And if that's a pass, then we win. If that is a pass, we win. With four fully healed chestnuts. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We did it. Elegant heal. No damage. Thank you very much. Let's switch. Let's touch down. Justin Fields. You're done, bud. Let's go. He's crazy. He's cracked. That mill tank never had a chance. And that is the chestnut deck. I, I, frankly, it's kind of a fun one, right? Like, we didn't get um, fantastic games to utilize the chestnut, but our opponents did attack into it a couple of times, and it made a big difference in those games. So, really, really fun. Love this little archetype. It's down in the description below. We're going to be playing with a lot of 151 stuff uh, from here on out. So, if you have a deck idea for next Friday, leave it down in the comments below. Could be a 151. Um... Uh, you know, idea. That would be really, really fun. I'd love to see some of the crazy ideas that you come up with from 151. We'll definitely be putting out an Onyx video sometime soon. That I think would be a ton of fun as well. But that's going to do it for me today, guys. God bless. If I don't see you soon, I'll see you later. And remember, good luck and also have fun.